Hi everyone, this is Braden here from VoiceFlow back for another video tutorial for VoiceFlow. Now today we're going to be going over variables. Now if you're not familiar with programming at all, don't worry, it's going to be super easy, uh, but variables are extremely powerful and they allow you to add a lot of customization into your projects. So to explain variables from a very like high level, variables are containers that allow you to store data. Now this data can be something like a name, it can be a score, and it can allow you to do a lot of really cool things. But I think the best way to explain variables is to actually just show you how they work. So I'm actually going to delete all this, which is our test skill from the previous episode. And I'm going to move my camera a little bit. And I'm going to go over to the left bar here. You'll see there is a variables bar. So we can open this up and you'll see there are a couple different variables already in here denoted by the little uh, curly braces. Now, there are two types of variables in voice flow, global variables and local variables, but I'll get into what those are in later episodes. For now, you only need to know about global variables. So to actually add a variable, so I'm going to create one for name, which is going to hold the user's name. I'm going to type in name. I'm going to hit add. And you'll see it gets added to the list here as a blue variable. And you'll see there's, there's a little X that allows me to delete the variable if I choose to do so. Now, you might be wondering, well, what is the gray variable? Uh, you know, the three gray variables. And these are variables that are given to you by default by voice flow. Uh, so you can use them in your own Alexa skills. And these are things like the number of sessions, the user ID, and the timestamp. Timestamp is basically just, you know, when the user started the skill. And so you can actually use these, uh, you know, within your own skills to, you know, figure out how many sessions the user has done, and we've already collected that information for you. But uh, for our purposes, we're just going to be using the variable I just made called name. So I'm gonna go back to our blocks menu here, click on this, and you'll see uh, there, I'm in the advanced menu right now, and I wanna drag out a set block. Okay, now the set block allows us to set variables to certain values. So I want to actually set the uh, name variable to my name, Brayden. So I'm going to go over into set variable name. I'm going to choose the variable I want. If I want to find it, I can just start typing and it'll find it right there. And now I can go set variable, or set a name to Brayden. Okay, so now I'm going to hook these up. So hook up my start block to my set block. Because I remember, if you remember, the start block is where the skill starts. Now what I want to do is I actually want to use my variable in conversation with Alexa. So I'm going to pull in the basic block, the speak block, which allows Alexa, which allows you to control what Alexa says. And I'm going to say, hi there, nice to meet you. Now right here, I want to say my name. I want to say the user's name. Now I could always, of course, just type Braden, but let's say I use my name all over the skill and then I decide to change my name or change the value. Now I have to go and I have to find all the different places where I use that value and it would be a big hassle. So instead what we can do is we can actually just use a variable. I can set, uh, I can put the first curly brace and you'll see a little menu popped up and I can start to type the name of the variable I wanna use and you'll see name pops up here. I can say, hi there, nice to meet you, name. And we already know because in the set block, we set the value of name to Braden that when uh, Alexa runs, it's going to say, hi there, nice to meet you, Braden. And if we were to use the name over and over and over again, all over the place, and we were to just change the name, uh, the value of the variable, it would change all the variables everywhere, which is why it's so useful. So if I wanted to have Alexa just say my name over and over again without having to type out my name, I could do that. Of course, we're not gonna do that. And so let's actually test what this sounds like. So I'm gonna save, I'm gonna upload to Alexa. Okay, now I've got my Alexa right here. Alexa, open test skill. Hi there, nice to meet you, Brayden. And you can see right there, uh, Alexa actually used my name as it was stored in a variable. Now we're going to do one really cool thing is that we can actually ask the user for the value of the variable uh, and then store it and then use it. 
So what we're going to do is ask the user what their name is. We're going to store that response, uh, the user's response in a variable called name. And then we're going to say, uh, greet the user based off what they said. So let's actually do that. So to do this, we want to use the capture block down here from the advanced section. And instead of a set block, which is where we are setting the name of the variable, we want to ask the user to set the, uh, the uh, value of the variable for us. So I'm going to get rid of these lines. By the way, that's how you delete lines. You can just click on the uh, entry port. And I'm going to delete the set block. And I'm going to pull in another speak block that's going to say, please say your first name. I'll link these up. Now I'm going to put the capture block, link these up. And in the capture block, I'm going to select the variable that we want it to capture to. So I want it to capture to the name variable. So I'm going to click on name here. And now you can see we are capturing the user's input to name. And then we're going to link up capture to here so that it flows. And we're going to say, hi there, nice to meet you, name. So what this should do is it we're going to ask the user, please you know, say your first name. We're then going to capture what they say into the name variable and then say, hi, nice to meet you, name variable, which will then say their name back to them. So let's do that. I'm going to save and upload to Alexa. Confirm upload and let's test it. Alexa, open test skill. Please say your first name. Brayden. Hi there, nice to meet you, Brayden. Cool. Now let's actually test to see that it'll be different every time based off what the user says. Alexa, open test skill. Please say your first name. Sarah. Hi there, nice to meet you, Sarah. And so you can see just like that, you can uh, capture the user's name in a variable and use that all throughout your project. So let's say you had a large interactive story and you wanted to use uh, your kids' names as the main characters. You could ask them, you know, what are your names? You could use those, capture those into a variable and then use them all throughout your story so that the story is about your kids, which is a really cool use case. Uh, and you can even have variables be saved across sessions so that, you know, even when they come back, they don't have to enter their name every time. But these are topics for another video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be go going over even more advanced features that allow you to build better and better Alexa skills. Thanks for joining us today. I cannot wait to see you in the next video.